Hey guys, today's video I decided to use Karina because she got buffs in the last update and to my surprise her damage is pretty damn amazing right now. But to be honest, I wasn't too confident going into this game after I saw our non-meta team composition against the very meta heroes. And also the biggest weakness of Karina are crowd control heroes and they got plenty. However, if you play Karina smartly and to her maximum potential, you will see that it's very possible to pull it off. These are my builds. And this is the emblem setup. Like most mage, buy a magic necklace first, then the jungle item. Max her second skill first. Here you can see that Kaja is doing a newbie mistake. When you are using a melee hero, try to stack both minions, so you can hit them both at the same time. Here I'm not overcommitting, just trying to poke the Cho, while buying time until my bottom teammates pay attention to the map and comes to help. Definitely worth it. Cushion players tend to play too fast, so after they use his second skill, they usually auto aim the first skill, so make sure to sidestep right after they use the second skill. But honestly, I underestimated his damage. As you can see, we are not having the most stellar early game. The bottom lane just got destroyed, but as you saw from the intro, soon you will see something truly amazing. Trust me. You will be able to see that if you play Karina properly, you can unlock her maximal potential. I was going to the bottom lane, but once I checked the time, I realized that my buff was respawning soon. Also, I decided to leave that lane for our marksman to farm instead. When playing Karina, one of the most important tips is to constantly pay attention to who has low HP, because as you probably know, every time she gets a kill or assist, all her skill will receive a huge cooldown reduction. If she gets a kill, then her ultimate will reset instantly. Look here, I'm completely ignoring Kufra and Kerry, since they are almost at full HP. I went for Valor, whom I was pretty sure he will be at low HP. Don't be the focus of attention. When the enemies are distracted, that's when you strike. You have to be very opportunistic when playing Karina. Never go in first, be patient and wait for the right timing. Once again, look at how I'm paying the utmost attention to who are the ones with low HP. Because if you manage to kill one, then you can probably go for more kills. You can see that this is a very tight game, and them having meta heroes are definitely more advantageous. When you encounter this kind of situation, just make sure to keep your farms up, because when you start getting those core items, you can someone instantly kill the carries and turn the tide of battle in a heartbeat. Their Cho and Kufra are focusing me a lot, which is the right play. So try to be very smart and wait for them to be a bit distracted before you engage in the fight. Okay, I saw Cho and Gushon are going to the bottom lane, but look who is the one with low HP.
remember, be opportunistic and don't be the focus of attention. That's the way of Karina. By the way, you can aim her ultimate to the target that you want. So instead of locking the hero, which takes more time, just simply drag and aim your ultimate instead. If you think you're an awesome person, then you should definitely click that like button to be even more awesome. If you're in low HP, this jungle minion will give you the most HP and mana back. It's really important to keep scrolling around the map, because you must check who are the ones with low HP and kill them first. By the way, in case you didn't know, her first skill allowed her to deal extra damage to turrets, and also make her not receive as much damage from the turret as well. The red buff is also great on Karina, because she is also considered an assassin, and deals physical damage as well. The best way to describe her playstyle is to hit and run and wait for the right timing. Always pay attention to the status of the fights, see if your team is losing or winning, and check if there are any enemies in low HP. Never engage first, be smart with your timing. As you can see, Kufra is trying to focus me down first. If you see that you are becoming the center of attention, retreat a little bit first, then wait for the right timing to strike. If you have seen my video about the best tips to improve your gameplay, then you will know what is going to happen next. 
And in case you haven't, I will leave the link to that video in the description down below. Here goes. Ultra Instinct! That was a very decisive kill. If I didn't kill Cho, he could have simply killed this one minion and we will be able to push. That will prolong the game a lot longer, which will give them a very good opportunity for a comeback, since they got much better team composition than ours. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, be awesome and hit that like button. Thanks, and I will see you until next time.